The WHO China probe team has ruled out only one possibility. They say that the COVID-19 virus did not escape from the Wuhan lab. They have ruled out the Wuhan lab leak hypothesis, but they say that the result of their probe is still inconclusive. The World Health Body chief has urged deeper probe into the origins theory, adding an interesting piece of information related to the investigation process. Now, they say that COVID-19 has an animal origin. It could be from bats, it could be from pangolins or some other missing link animal, but they still don't know exactly where the pandemic came from that has killed nearly 2.8 million people worldwide and more than 128 million people worldwide have been infected. But uh, after the report was, the WHO China report was made public, Director General Ted Ross has said that data was withheld from the World Health Organization investigators who had gone to Wuhan, China to conduct the probe. The team which traveled to China to research were barred from accessing raw information by authorities in Beijing. The comments were made to the agency's member states as a WHO team released its final report to the public. So the question is, why has China refused to share raw data on the initial stages of COVID-19 with the World Health Organization investigators? China refused to give its raw data on early COVID-19 cases to the WHO team. And the investigation is still inconclusive. We don't know where the pandemic came from. The joint WHO-China study on the origins of COVID-19 was released. The investigation failed to identify the source of the pandemic. After over a year of the health crisis, this is the situation. This report's release has been repeatedly delayed. The conclusions that the virus origins remains incomplete likely means that tensions over how the pandemic started will continue. It will also hamper the world's efforts to prevent any future pandemics because they don't know where the current pandemic came from and how to deal with it. Meanwhile, the United States and 13 of its allies have voiced concern on WHO-bagged COVID report. The United States, Australia, UK, Japan, Canada and South Korea have urged China to provide full access to the experts. But Beijing has so far refused to provide raw data or complete access to the investigators. Jagruti Dave continues to be with us on this massive global story. Jagruti, that was a really interesting statement coming in from Dr. Ted Ross that uh, the WHO investigators were still not given raw data by China and US has obviously voiced concern. What's the latest that you're picking up from the Biden administration? We know that Donald Trump was very open when he claimed that US agencies had proof against the Wuhan lab, but the Biden administration has been more measured on that and has just questioned the WHO China probe. Yeah, I mean, I think um, the Biden administration hasn't directly attacked the World Health Organization in the way that President Trump did, calling it China-centric, withdrawing uh, the U.S. from the World Health Organization. Um, and I think, though, the Biden administration has been uh, robust in its criticisms of China, um, the White House saying that um, they believe that uh, China had not been transparent, um, that it uh, that they were concerned, as were the other countries who signed that uh, issued that joint statement um, by the delays uh, to the release of the report and uh, to uh, the, the cons they were also concerned by uh, the fact that they didn't have access to the full uh, complete data. Um, I think we're seeing um, continued pressure being put on China by the United States um, th uh, through uh, joint efforts with its allies. Um, and we've seen that uh, with allies in the Asia Pacific, with allies in Europe. Um, and I think the whilst the rhetoric uh, may not be uh, 
the similar to uh, the same as the Trump administration's rhetoric towards China. I think even before Joe Biden took the presidency, it w was expected that he would take uh, a pretty uh, a similar sort of attitude towards China, if not the tone of the conversation, uh, the tone of the conversations with China, um, because there is bipartisan consensus here in Washington that tougher action needs to be taken against China on a whole variety of issues. China, of course, right. would respond and say that this is uh, the United States interfering, um, that this is uh, undue pressure being put on China uh, by its adversaries. Absolutely. Jagrat Dave, thank you so much for joining us uh, with the latest on this story. We On is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.